Hi, this is Brandon Harris from TheUrbanGeek.com. Uh, so, Good Reader, uh, big, big uh, discussion about Good Reader in a lot of forums, especially Mac rumors. Uh, people don't really know what the big deal is about Good Reader. Well, uh, if, in case you haven't been compelled to buy it yet, the argument to buy it just got a lot com more compelling. Um, they have uh, included an, an update that supports inter app inter app document sharing and it is pretty pretty sweet so what that means is that you can open up a document from mail and I believe other apps that will allow you to open it in Goodreader or any other choice and now the problem is there's no other choices right now so Goodreader is the main one um, I'm pretty sure you can open it up in pages if you would like as well if it was um, a uh, pages document so really quickly let me let me show you what I got here this is a zipped um, a document and it's inside of my mail you can see I have an option if I hold down the, the icon that gives me open and good reader okay so I'm gonna open that in good reader and this is a zip file remember now that's the zip file I can click that zip file and choose to unzip it which is awesome what I just unzipped ends it up in good reader and I can click that document and bam there is a fully working HTML page actually uh, something that we built for our project I'm working on but uh, if that's not awesome I don't know what is and if you haven't bought Goodreader yet I uh, definitely suggest it I in no way am officially uh, affiliated with Goodreader but uh, I think it's probably one of the best apps inside of the App Store most functional and uh, has the most compelling argument to spend that buck or two on. So that's Goodreader. Uh, Brandon Harris from TheUrbanGeek.com. Bye.